to tell me the story, whoever I point out will be telling it. It's going to be an amazing, wonderful story. Now, who knows the one story that's never been told that should be told now? <laughs> All right, the big labouche. Does it sound like it put me to sleep? Let's hear it. All right. There you go. Oh, and when they say something wrong, we all yell, die, 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 and we'll kill them. Yeah, give it a Okay, that'll be good. So let's try it. Hey, John. Die, die, die. 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 See, you guys are great. All right, here we go. So, The Big Labouche, Chapter 1. It was a warm August morn. Dew glistened on the leaves as the sun shone down upon the land. There was a peace and tranquility never felt before in Labouche. <laughs> the people, Labouchkins, <laughs> loved it. They enjoyed summer warm days like today, although there was something in the air, something not quite right. They did not know, they sensed that evil was coming. They did not know what it was, what it could be, <laughs> but it was coming nonetheless. <laughs> only one man, only one Labushkin could be so vile. <laughs> it was the big Labouche! <laughs> <laughs> he had been expelled from the society long ago for his Labushi ways. <laughs> the ball. But he was returning. I'll get my revenge on the Labush, because it is my just due. They should never have banished me. <laughs> ready for the big Labouche and his imminent attack. What were they to do? But in the town, there was Labouche Willis. <laughs> <laughs> Labouche Willis was the greatest hero known to man. He'd starred in eight different movies. <laughs> Named after him. He's the one person who could put, put Different action stars together in one movie. It had never been done before. Everyone wanted to see the movie. Except the big Labouche. He was coming to stop them. He was a former film producer and was very angry. Labouche owed him film credits that he never gave him. Labouche wanted his name big in the lights, right above Bruce. Labouche Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> to which Labouche Wilson Willis said, Nay, this is my movie. You will not have it. I'll get you, Labouche Willis. Give it be mine, the credits. Said the big Labouche. <laughs> Labouche Willis knew he had to stop this now. So he, told, he went to his Psychic. We <laughs> told him it was a good day to stop plots of evil. The big Labouche made a giant laser gun that operated with his mind. <laughs> Labouche Willis said, It's time I take my movie out. Movie out, he said. That's what they call death in the Labouche can <laughs> Movie is over, big Labouche. I'm gonna throw you down at my shot or something <laughs> terrible. <laughs> However, there was no fake blood this time. This was real. There were no actors, extras, or even a, a nice little party. Flatter. <laughs> during the filming. There was one person who was not okay with all of this. It was the big Labouche's girlfriend. <laughs> Susie Labouche. <laughs> the second biggest Labouche on campus. <laughs> she had a reputation. That's why both the main characters of this story wanted her. Because she was so beautiful 
as was her reputation. <laughs> <laughs> but she belonged to the big Labouche. And Labouche Wilson was just. And 
magical wand. <laughs> he decided it was time to end La Bouchette. Forever. He lunged out of the cake with his shiv made of paper clips <laughs> as the big labouche went to cut it. But the big labouche was faster with his big her knife, <laughs> which he used to deflect the shiv and also cut off both of Labouche Willis's hands. <laughs> Handsless, Labouche Willis only had his mouth and knees to work with. Luckily, he was adept at fighting with both. <laughs> he jumped out fighting and kicking with his knees and flailing all over the place. The battle was nearly ending. The, the big Labouche had, didn't know what to do. She was absolutely powerless against the douchiness of Labouche. <laughs> he was ruining her wedding day. It was not fair. Labouche just wanted to marry herself. Was that so wrong? <laughs> she didn't think so. She knew it was not. Labouche used her one wish that everybody gets on their wedding day and wished for Labouche Willis's death. <laughs> but Labouche Willis had a backup wish, for he had earlier been married that day himself. <laughs> he thought ahead, the smart guy. His wish was to wish back his life, to which he was granted his life back. It was over the fight. Both had won. Both people had killed the other person. <laughs> they were both happy. They both got their wedding wishes. And it was over. The cake was now being served. The Bush Willis took the wrong piece of cake. It was not marked happy. It was marked death. <laughs> Which he thought was odd, but went for it anyway. <laughs> Taking a large bite, Labouche said, Ha! It is time for your death for ever! <laughs> 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 <laughs>